wonderful resource here in our community called The Reading Group, and we're excited to be here today with them. Glad to be here with all of you, Jim, Hi. Sally, Tina. Um, I know that The Reading Group is an excellent resource for so many in our community, um, especially the little ones that can use extra support, but really for everyone. Jim, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about The Reading Group and maybe the history of it. Sure. We were founded in 1972 by Mrs. Marilyn Kay. And Marilyn actually uh, started this in her basement uh, and uh, moved from location, location, location. And 40 some years ago, she was in the lower level or the basement of Lincoln Square Mall. So we've kind of returned to home. Yes. We um, take care of individuals primarily with dyslexia, uh, which is a learning process for individuals. And we spend a lot of time trying to train those individuals how to think about reading, spelling, writing differently. That's what we do every single day. We currently have 62 students and 11 instructors. So it's a wonderful place to work. If you're interested in teaching or tutoring, let me know. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Jim, I know that you're the executive director. Tina, you're president of the board. Let's talk about the value of having a resource like this right here in Central Illinois. Um, I think it's really important to have a resource like this. We have so many children and adults in the community that could benefit from this, um, could help uh, learn and um, do better in their jobs, in their careers, in school. Yeah, and what's your role look like um, as president of the board for the reading group? Um, my role is really as a uh, support person. Um, I uh, work with Jim daily and we bounce ideas off of each other, um, sit on the board, give the board guidance and um, uh, structure and um, really help with the, also with the day-to-day -day, uh, operations. Absolutely. All right, Sally, I know that um, you kind of are in the thick of it with the individuals that are needing that support. Mm -hmm. Before we dive into what maybe an assessment looks like for someone, what is dyslexia? Mm -hmm. Well, a dyslexic learner is somebody who has the inability to isolate individual sounds and words. So they're not able to hear the individual sounds. So which makes reading and writing and spelling very, very difficult. So because they can't, they can't record what they hear. So if an individual could use the reading group as um, a resource, what does that assessment look like when they sit down with you? Mm -hmm. Well, I assess um, a phonological awareness is a big one that I assess. I also do spelling and we do a nonsense words um, decoding survey also um, and reading comprehension. So the assessment takes about 45 minutes to an hour and then I conference with the parents right after the assessment. Is there a kind of frequently asked question that you get from parents that you would like to mm -hmm. convey to our viewers? Mm -hmm. um, a, a, a question that I get all the time is, how long does it take to fix mm. this problem? And the, I wish I could say it was a quick fix, but it's not. It is a process that takes a long time. Um, sometimes it's years before they, they overcome it, but they can overcome it. It just does take some time. And it maybe starts in a space like this with yes. this kind of one-on-one -on -one, mm -hmm. um, learning experience that's encouraging, it's supportive, um, and they're there to help you. Yes. So I think that is a really valuable part to overcoming it. Who is this for, Jim? Who should consider taking part in gaining as a resource um, the reading group? Sure. Um, uh, we provide assistance for individuals from first grade to fifth grade primarily. But as Sally has indicated, um, we do um, deal with some adults, two 34-year-olds, 34-year-olds, and a 40-year-old last year. We handle that a little bit differently than we do with the children, but we handle all ages. We have a 16, 18, and 19-year-old currently going through the program. This learning process doesn't stop. I'm older, and I'm fairly sure I had dyslexia when I was a child. And I just discovered that when I started working here at the reading group two and a half years ago. But it helps to understand what's going on. 20% of the population, general population, has dyslexia. Mm -hmm. Other groups that are underserved could run as high as 40 and 50%. So what we do is try to help those individuals change their lives, change their careers, and make an impact, a positive impact on their lives. I love that, so good. Um, and if someone is thinking, 
gosh, I think I'd really benefit from the support of the reading group, or maybe my child would. Um, how can they get in touch or learn about maybe scheduling their own assessment? Sure. Uh, first thing, they can either call me uh, or email me, one of the two, and we can provide those numbers in my email address. In addition to that, they can go to our website, and they can actually contact me through the website. It's www.readinggroup.org, and we'll be glad to help anybody. I probably get two and three calls a day, wow. which is wonderful. Sally has five assessments mm -hmm. coming up. So mm -hmm. um, this is a team effort. We work together. We make a difference in the lives of our children, and that's all that's important to us. So. Absolutely. Well, that's very evident by the work that you all are doing. We appreciate the work that you're doing to support our individuals that maybe are dyslexic learners. All right. If you uh, maybe are interested in learning more about the reading group, we'll connect you on how you can do just that over at our website, sandliving.tv. We do appreciate them for sponsoring our segment today.